motor gear burnout. Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this is going to be the steel top for my son's huge workbench we brought back from the thrift store. And uh, the steel place right now is too expensive on uh, sheet metal like this. This is a quarter inch. And so, luckily, the sheriff neighbor called and said, hey, the school has a surplus sheet here. Are you interested? And we're like, hell yeah. Uh, the only problem is it's a hair short for his bench. So he's going to cut. He's got to do a long cut here to make it the width. And use the extra for the, uh, the end piece and weld that. So uh, we just got her home. And uh, we're going to cut her with a Diablo circular saw blade. Yeah. And that's why your safes at home aren't safe. Because uh, you can cut them like butter. All right. So this is the rusty side. Looks like uh, they used the plasma, cutter. the plasma cutter. It got lumps here. So we're going to cut on the bad side. The other side looks much better. And we have some clouds. So we got to worry about that. There's the Diablo blade. Cut steel like butter. He was going to use his cordless Milwaukee, but I think he's going to use this one instead. All right. And it weighs like, what, 250? It took four of us to get this thing in there. 280-ish. 280-ish? Yeah, I, I couldn't believe how heavy it was for just a quarter inch. Okay, there's your thickness. Should make a good welding workbench. All right, continuing. Bitch. Oh. Hey. I'm the one that got you here with the F-250. The F-250 doesn't even feel it. Look at that. Doesn't even know it's there. Okay, the two of us uh, slipped it off the truck onto these uh, iffy sawhorses, but they're holding. <laughs> so that wasn't too bad with two people. He's going to make a... A cut down here and use an extra piece for the end of the bench because it's a little short, but beggars can't be choosy. All right, and he's got some steampunk vintage Wilson goggles he's going to use for eye protection. Those are pretty cool. All right, we just got to beat this cloud. We might get rained on, son of a bitch. At least we got the rusty side up. Okay, he's going to use his used Diablo blade, which it's been used a lot. And he's going to make uh, a little cut and then clamp them together and then do the rest. All right, go ahead. All right, while well, my son's doing a backsplash trim here, I'm gonna take the cat, the biggest, best grinder ever made, the Wildcat. Back in the 60s and 70s, this thing has mega power and it's huge, all right? So, uh, I'll turn the sound down and I'm gonna clean up the table while he's doing the little border, all right. All right, 
right, so everything's a cluster right now. Uh, we had to get the bench in, then we got the top, so it's a mess. All right, so uh, my son has 18 feet of goodness, of solid bench now. All right, so we start with the Fordham bench, which has all kinds of crap on it right now. Clean up aisle three, but it's a solid steel bench. And then it goes to our thrift store solid steel bench. All right, so we got 18 feet. And so we kept the top on this section because this top is so good. I don't know what it was made out of, but it is so good. I got to plug a hole here. Oh, by the way, this vice, this vice is 130 pounds. Biggest vice I ever saw. He's got another one here. All right, and then we go to the shear. If we're going to rhyme, there's a shear. And then we get to the metal top we did today and brought home and cut and mocked up. All right, so out here we got like eight feet of goodness of all solid steel, which you can use as a welding bench, ground it right to the bench. And it turned out awesome uh, with the cat. We got nice patina here. We actually turned out using the bad side and I like that. We got the nice patina. There's the edge um, from the thrift store frame. All right, so now all he has to do is uh, we'll take these bins out from below and he's gonna MIG uh, in sections to make this uh, all welded from underneath so we don't have screws, everything is smooth. And then he, he's got this little section here that uh, we were a little short and he used that extra piece and he's going to TIG weld that, grind it, and then we'll take the cat and make it all match. And then he put a little border around here and this border we can use for shelving that comes up. I need to insulate these walls, by the way. And so I think we did pretty good today from pickup to cutting to mock-up. I think it looks pretty good. we got to clean up the face of this uh, bench, but it's all solid, heavy-duty steel. I could run a, I could put a car on this thing. It is so solid. It'd make an awesome reloading bench, but that's not what this is for. All right. On this section, which is a cluster, he already has a shear here that was made by Buffalo Forge. And this thing will cut through a heavy steel like no, no tomorrow. And then he can use it for uh, like forging, come over here and shear off some stuff while it's hot or cold, go directly to welding and he's got a huge surface here now. So, uh, and obviously we got vices out the gazoo. And so um, once he cleans up this section and organizes, he's got 18 feet of goodness. I wish I had 18 feet of goodness, people. All right, so. That was our day, and I think we got a lot done. Just uh, maybe an hour welding here. Uh, face up this thrift store frame that we got, and man, you could drive a car on this thing. It is awesome. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that was our day today, and I'm glad we got her done. So until next time, thanks for watching.